Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. We also have a sad update regarding renowned actor Bruce Willis. As a part of the Immortal News family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 8. Ron Thompson, an esteemed character actor famous for his dual lead roles in Ralph Bakshi's groundbreaking rotoscope film, American Pop, and as Detective Nopke in the 1970s TV series Beretta, passed away at the age of 83. His passing was announced by his longtime friend Professor Rel Dowdle, though no specific cause was given. Born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1941, he began his career as a rock singer under the stage name Ronnie Thompson before moving on to acting, where he made an unmistakable imprint. His early acting credits included a live TV appearance with Robert Duvall, laying the groundwork for a successful career that would last several decades. His performance as animated characters Tony and Pete Belinsky in American Pop demonstrated his unique ability to bring cartoon figures to life, adding to the film's critical success. His portrayal in Beretta as Detective Nopke cemented his reputation as a versatile actor capable of playing difficult parts in both television and film. In the theater, his abilities showed brilliantly when he originated the role of Shanty Mulligan in the Pulitzer Prize-winning play No Place to Be Somebody, garnering him a Los Angeles Drama Critics Circle Award in 1973 for his performance in Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie? His theatrical prowess remained impressive throughout his career, with critically acclaimed performances on both coasts. Despite never receiving a major national award for his cinema appearances, he was well regarded in the acting community for his dedication to the craft and ability to coach younger performers. His buddy, Professor Dowdell, remembers him as a versatile and talented character actor who was passionate in exploring the complexities of acting. Ron Thompson's reputation is defined by a career full of diverse and powerful performances that demonstrated his depth and versatility as an actor. Tributes to Ron Thompson. Number 7. Tony Jones, an influential American professional wrestler known for his dynamic presence in the ring and significant contributions to various wrestling promotions, passed away at the age of 53. Born on April 6, 1971, he established a strong presence in North American independent circuits, primarily with California-based All Pro Wrestling, Ultimate Pro Wrestling, and Extreme Pro Wrestling. He also made multiple appearances in World Wrestling Entertainment during the course of his career. His wrestling career began with considerable training under Mike Modest and swiftly progressed to big contests and title victories that showcased his strong athleticism and charming flair. His tag team alliances, particularly those created within the APW, were lauded, and he won numerous tag team championships and individual honors, including APW Tag Team of the Year in 1998. His impact extends beyond the ring. He appeared in the 1999 documentary, Beyond the Mat, which focused on his and Mike Modest's attempts to break into major wrestling promotions. This exposure not only demonstrated his dedication and enthusiasm for wrestling, but also drew national attention to the life of an independent wrestler looking for recognition. His contributions to the wrestling world, as well as his memorable battles, made a lasting impact on both fans and fellow wrestlers. Tributes to Tony Jones. Number 6. Don Donaher, a legendary figure in college basketball, passed away at the age of 92. His career as head coach of the University of Dayton's men's basketball team spanned 1964 to 1989, during which he led the Flyers to impressive victories such as the 1968 National Invitation Tournament Championship 
and a runner-up finish in the 1967 NCAA University Division Basketball Tournament. Donaher, who was born on January 21, 1932 in Toledo, Ohio, rose to prominence as a player before dedicating his life to coaching. His coaching time at Dayton was characterized by discipline, strategic rigor, and the development of fundamental basketball skills, which frequently enabled his teams to outperform more athletically skilled opponents. His leadership not only led to successful teams, but it also had a significant impact on the lives of numerous student-athletes. Aside from his coaching achievements, he has been inducted into several halls of fame and received numerous major prizes, including the Dean Smith Award. His legacy is also preserved at the University of Dayton Arena, which was named in his honor, ensuring that his impact will be felt by future generations. In his senior years, he continued to give back to the sport, reaching more people and staying connected to the game he loved. His passing marks the end of an era for Dayton basketball, but his impact will be remembered and appreciated. Tributes to Don Donoher. Number 5. Richard Horowitz, an influential American film score composer, passed away at the age of 75. Born on January 6, 1949 in New York, his remarkable career was distinguished by his unique ability to combine classic musical components with contemporary sounds, earning him a prestigious place in the world of film music. Horowitz won a Golden Globe in 1990 for his work on Tea in the Sahara and a BMI Film and TV Award in 2000 for Sunday Hell among other honors. His soundtracks frequently crossed cultural boundaries, combining several musical traditions to create highly moving movie experiences. His wide career includes famous works such as The Wings of Love, Tobruk, and the documentary A Jihad for Love. Beyond film, he collaborated with musicians such as Hassan Hakmoon and Susan Dehim, demonstrating his versatility and commitment to genre fusion. His work not only improved the films he composed, but it also had a significant impact on spectators and filmmakers alike, establishing a lasting legacy in both the cinema and music industries. Richard Horowitz's artistic accomplishments and commitment to bridging musical cultures will be remembered and treasured. Tributes to Richard Horowitz. Number 4. Angela Redgrave, a revered dance teacher whose vibrant career spanned nearly a century, passed away at the age of 106. She was born in Finchley, London, in 1917, and began dancing at the age of eight. She has spent her life influencing generations of dancers as the head of the Bristol School of Dancing since 1970. Her dedication was honored in 2022 with a British Empire Medal and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Royal Academy of Dance. Throughout her extended career, she was not just a teacher, but also an innovator, incorporating children with special needs into her dancing courses and using internet platforms to continue teaching during the COVID lockdown. Her son, John Redgrave, describes her as a forceful presence who was cherished by those whose lives she impacted. Her legacy goes beyond dancing. She fostered confidence and passion in her students, leaving an unforgettable mark on both the community and the dance industry. Angela Redgrave made significant contributions to dance and was deeply committed to her students, ensuring that her influence will continue on through the countless lives she touched. Tributes to Angela Redgrave. Number 3. Annie Bell, a French actress renowned for her varied roles in both French and Italian cinema, passed away at the age of 67. Her acting career began unexpectedly early and developed as she moved between major roles across Europe, captivating audiences with performances under directors such as Jean Rollin and Joe D'Amato. Her resume includes memorable films like Forever Emmanuel, Blue Bell, and The House on the Edge of the Park, which demonstrate her variety and depth as an actress. Her career eventually expanded beyond the screen, 
as she acquired a degree in psychology and dedicated herself to social work, assisting others suffering from mental illness. Her life off-screen was just as powerful as her on-screen accomplishments, as evidenced by her dedication to assisting others and her personal tenacity in the face of professional obstacles. Annie Bell's influence extends beyond the film she starred in and into the lives she affected through her work outside of film. She leaves behind a story of metamorphosis, from a recognized actress to a dedicated social worker who values both the arts and human service. Number 2. Joanna Dworakowska, a renowned Polish chess player and three-time national champion, passed away at the age of 45. Born in Warsaw, Poland, she made significant marks on the international chess scene, earning the prestigious titles of International Master and Woman Grandmaster. She was a pivotal member of the Polish women's team, achieving remarkable successes, such as the bronze at the 2002 Chess Olympiad in Bled and Gold at the 2005 European Team Championship in Gothenburg. Her prowess was not limited to European competitions. She also competed against several U.S. chess masters throughout her career, enhancing the global chess dialogue and fostering international sportsmanship. Her strategic brilliance and competitive spirit were admired worldwide, and she served as a role model for aspiring chess players, especially women, demonstrating the heights that can be reached with dedication and skill. Her legacy continues to inspire the chess community both in Poland and internationally. As we remember her life and career, the impact of her contributions to this intellectual sport is celebrated by all who knew her name. Tributes to Joanna Dworakowska. Today's top headlines. News 1. Four months after giving birth to her fourth child, superstar Ciara is openly sharing her personal fitness goals with fans. The 38-year-old singer and entrepreneur, celebrated for her hit Level Up, revealed her challenge of losing 70 pounds while juggling motherhood, business ventures, and preparing for an upcoming tour. In a recent heartfelt Instagram post, Ciara shared a candid, makeup-free selfie expressing both her determination and the immense effort it takes to balance professional commitments with breastfeeding and personal health. Her transparency has sparked a wave of support from fans who commend her for her perseverance and realistic portrayal of postpartum life. News 2. Country Files' Adam Henson faced an unimaginable challenge when his now wife, Charlie Gilbert, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. This harrowing revelation brought the couple to a profound decision, culminating in an emotional wedding ceremony just hours before a critical surgery. The diagnosis came after Charlie experienced persistent symptoms initially thought to be a minor illness. The discovery of a sizable tumor marked a pivotal moment, leading to their urgent nuptials in a heartfelt display of commitment and love. Adam recalls the profound emotion of their wedding day, which was tinged with both joy and the poignant reality of Charlie's health battle. This story highlights their strength and the power of love in the face of life's toughest challenges. News 3. Emma Hemming Willis delights followers with nostalgic snapshots on Instagram, celebrating her deep bond with husband Bruce Willis amid his health challenges. Recently, Emma delved into their cherished memories, sharing throwback photos from various phases of their life together. One poignant image from 2012 captures Bruce on the set of A Good Day to Die Hard, playfully covered in stage blood, alongside Emma and his daughter Scout. In another tender moment, a younger Bruce balances their daughter Mabel on his shoulders. Emma's posts, filled with love and nostalgia, underscore the couple's enduring connection and her admiration for Bruce, who faces frontotemporal dementia. These snapshots not only celebrate their past, but also reinforce their strong family bonds. News 4. King Charles and Queen Camilla are currently taking a serene break at their cherished Scottish retreat, Burkhall, amidst the king's ongoing cancer treatment. The royal couple, who recently celebrated their 19th wedding anniversary, chose the secluded estate in the Scottish Highlands for some much-needed rest and privacy. Burkhall, a favored sanctuary close to the royal Balmoral Castle, has long been a place of refuge and recovery for the king and queen. As King Charles, 75, continues his treatment, the retreat offers him a peaceful environment to recuperate. 
while Queen Camilla, 76, finds time to recharge. The couple's enduring bond is highlighted during this challenging period, with Queen Camilla increasingly stepping in for her husband at various engagements. Their stay at Burke Hall, a property rich in personal history and inherited from the Queen Mother, is not just a retreat, but a home filled with memories, including their honeymoon and moments from the early days of their marriage. It was also their sanctuary during the global upheaval of the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the King's health challenges, the couple's commitment to their duties continues, with plans for the year cautiously progressing under medical advice. This retreat reaffirms their resilience and dedication to both their personal well-being and public responsibilities. The King's positive outlook and the ongoing optimism from his medical team provide hope to many who follow the royal family's journey. Number one, Giannis Fertis, a towering figure in Greek theater and cinema, passed away at the age of 85 on April 14, 2024. Born in April 1938, he had a brilliant career that lasted decades, commencing with his study at the Carolos Kaun School of Theater Arts. He first appeared on stage in 1959 and rapidly became an important element of Greece's cultural fabric. Throughout his career, he not only played but also directed, making a lasting impression on both modern and classical theatrical plays. His performance in films like Electra in 1962 demonstrated his dynamic acting abilities and helped to the film's international success, earning an Oscar nomination for Best Foreign Language Film. He has received numerous awards for his services to the arts, including Best Actor at the Thessaloniki Festival in 2008 for his outstanding performance in Slaves in Their Bonds. His influence stretched beyond the stage and cinema as he was heavily involved in training the next generation of performers demonstrating his dedication to the industry. His legacy, as a mentor and innovator, lives on not only in the roles he performed but also in the lives he influenced. Tributes to Giannis Fertis.